One of the political opponents the January 6th committee is targeting is a man called Jeff Clark, who was assistant attorney general during the previous administration. Before dawn on Wednesday, which is to say yesterday, a large group of armed federal agents wearing body armor with weapons raided Jeff Clark's home. They dragged him into the street in his pajamas. Now, what did Jeff Clark do wrong? Was he selling fentanyl? Was he human trafficking on the Mexican border? No. Jeff Clark did not commit any crime. What he did wrong was calling for an investigation into voter fraud. We are happy to have Jeff Clark join us now. He's a senior fellow with the Center for Renewing America. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us. This is a, a, a almost, I mean, this is a Soviet account, really. So tell us what happened and why. It is, and good to be here, uh, Tucker. So yesterday at about just before 7 a.m., there was loud banging at uh, my door, insistent banging. So I just rushed down as fast as I could. I you know, quickly figured out you know, that there were agents there. I opened the door and asked for the courtesy to be able to put some pants on uh, and was told, no, you got to come outside. So uh, I came outside. They swept the house. Eventually, they let me go back inside and uh, put the pants on. But uh, then, you know, by my count at one point, uh, you know, 12 agents and two uh, Fairfax County police officers uh, went into my house, uh, searched it for three and a half hours. They even brought along something, Tucker, I've never seen before uh, or heard of, a uh, electronic sniffing dog. And uh, they took all of the electronics from my house. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I don't blame the, the agents. I think, it, you know, what you're talking about in terms of weaponization is really about uh, who's pointing the agents and telling them what to do, Tucker. So Peter Strzok, who worked at the FBI, is effectively a criminal, in my view, never really punished, sent out a tweet today mocking you and gloating over the fact that the Biden administration stole your cell phone and will now be reading all of your private messages. I mean, at what point can we say the Department of Justice, where you once served, is a political instrument? It's completely out of control. Yeah, I, I think this is highly politicized. And it's also part, uh, Tucker, uh, if you didn't know it, of a nationwide effort yesterday. There were multiple states where multiple people were roughly simultaneously, uh, you know, raided for their electronic devices. Uh, and that obviously requires a high level of coordination. And look, um, with the hearing uh, that was pointed at me and, and targeting me today uh, with, uh, you know, the, the uh, special audience member of Sean Penn, so you know this is Hollywood, uh, you know, the, the very next day, you know, it, it looks highly coincidental. And Tucker, you know, I just don't believe in coincidences. So you know Chris Ray, of course, who runs FBI. You probably know Merrick Garland. He's been around Washington a long time. Both of them have decided to pervert and corrupt our most basic institutions on behalf of Joe Biden. Would, did you think they were capable of doing that when you worked there? I argued in front of uh, Merrick Garland. I got a very uh, respectful hearing. I think uh, I was going to win that case, but we wound up actually uh, settling it in the shadow of what you know everyone assumed was going to be a victory. Sometimes that happens in financial cases. And uh, Chris Ray was with me in the Justice Department. He was just in the criminal division back in Bush 43. So I do uh, know both of them. And, you know, I, I just think we're living in an in a era that I don't recognize. And increasingly, uh, Tucker, I, I don't recognize the country anymore with these kinds of Stasi-like things happening. Yeah, this is Stalinist. At some point, somebody's going to fight back, and it's going to get super ugly. I, I pray that doesn't happen, but I, I think it probably will. This is very. The whole thing is so sad, and I'm sorry that you were caught up in it in your pajamas. Like they, need, they could have just called you. <laughs> it's outrageous, Jeff Clark. Well, I appreciate you coming on. We. I hope you'll come back lot, and Tucker. tell us where this winds up. It's creeps. Thank you. Will do.